you're thinking about moving to Southwest Washington and you're looking for a place to live that's close to the Portland metro area, but far enough out to where you don't have to deal with all the congestion and noise of living in the city, then I've got just the town for you. The city of LaCenter is tucked away up in the northern part of Clark County, and some people don't even know it exists. And it just so happens that it's my hometown. So if you guys want to come with me and check out the city of LaCenter, then stick around because we're heading out there right now. Welcome back everybody, Rick Anderson here with Anderson Homes Group and EXP Realty. And this is the Living in Southwest Washington channel, your go-to for information on relocating anywhere here in Southwest Washington. I got some good stuff in store for you today. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna kind of be a pros and cons video mixed in with a city tour video. So make sure you stick around for everything so you get all the inside information on life here in the center. And do me a favor, if you guys get any value from today's video, hit that like button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Consider subscribing to the channel and tap that notification bell so you know the next time I put out a new video. And if you are ready to make that move here to Southwest Washington, feel free to reach out anytime. Call, text, email, schedule that Zoom call. You guys know how to get a hold of me and I love hearing from you, so don't be afraid to reach out. All right, now that we got all that out of the way, let's go check out the center. So about 15 minutes north of downtown Vancouver, Perched above the Lewis River, up in the northwest corner of Clark County, sits the city of LaCenter. So it's a former logging town turned gambling mecca for those in the area that love to play cards. With the majority of the town's growth happening in just the past 20 years, LaCenter has managed to stave off the level of growth that you see in other parts of the county. Now, just to give you an idea of how small a center is and how successfully it's resisted growth, when I was born in the early 80s, there were barely 400 people living here. Parts of Main Street were still gravel, and Holly Park, which is the city's main park, was a barrel racing arena called the Wheel Club. Now, 40 years later, with almost 3,800 people calling the center home, the town has seen a significant amount of growth while still maintaining that small town feel. Now, one of the benefits of being such a small town is it means that we're going to be able to fit just about every neighborhood in this video. So that way you guys can see all of the different neighborhoods that the center has to offer. Now, if you're looking for a home in a subdivision, there are several options to choose from that range anywhere from entry level homes to the higher end homes that are going to, you know, hover around and close to that $1 million mark. Now, over the past 20 years, as the city started to grow, we have seen more subdivisions popping up all across town. Now, some of the first subdivisions started here back in the about mid 90s, like Southview Heights. Uh, that used to be a dairy farm where I would ride horses with my mom and sister. Um, and you know, now it's gone all the way to several developments that have been finished, you know, here in the past five, 10 years, we have several more communities that are currently under construction, a few more in the planning stages. Uh, so the center is growing slowly, but surely. And with one new apartment community, uh, East Fork Commons, that recently opened up, and there's also a 105-unit apartment complex that's currently in the planning stages, Le Center has housing options for everyone, whether you're looking at renting or buying. And with an average sales price last month coming in at 544000 home prices in Le Center are more affordable than most places in Clark County right now. Now, if you're looking for homes on acreage, one of the things that attracted my folks to the center back in the 70s was that they could find affordable land to build a home out in the country. In fact, I was just talking to my mom about it the other day, and her and my dad bought the five acres that I grew up on and the log home kit that they built together, all for under 50000 bucks. Now, the days of buying five acres of land and a house for 50000 are long gone anywhere you look in southwest Washington. But if you're looking for homes on acreage, maybe you're looking to have a little hobby farm, or maybe you just don't want to live shoulder to shoulder with your neighbors, and you want to keep your budget under seven figures, 
Le Center has several homes on the market right now that fit that bill. And if you are looking to drop over a million on your next home in the country, there's some seriously nice homes on the market too. Now, one of the things that I really love about the area is the mix of rolling hills, open pasture, dense timber and forests. You've got wildlife everywhere, deer, bear, cougar, bobcats. You've got migratory birds out here in the wetlands area. So whether you love just watching the wildlife or you want to hunt on your own property, you can do all of that up here. Just like this guy that I took on my family property several years back. Now, one of the things that I absolutely loved about living in and growing up here in La Center is the amount of recreation opportunities that there are here in town and also close by. You know, throughout town, you've got different parks throughout the city, uh, neighborhood parks. You've got the river here uh, with multiple access points for boating, swimming, floating the river with an ice cold six pack was always one of my favorites. Um, but you've also got, you know, Paradise Point State Park, which is just right up outside of town. You've got the Columbia River uh, for fishing. You've got larger lakes, you know, a short drive away if you like water skiing, things like that. You've got the Gifford Pinchot National Forest, which is another short drive away through some of the prettiest back roads that you're ever gonna see. Um, the Mount St. Helens National Volcanic Monument, again, a really short drive away from here. With La Center being tucked up here in the northern part of Clark County, it's kind of right on the doorstep of all of the outdoor recreation opportunities that we have here in Southwest Washington. So another big plus to living in La Center is the crime rate. So the center is very well known for having an incredibly low crime rate, partly because of the size of the city, you know, it's a small town, but also due heavily in part to the amount of tax dollars generated uh, from the local card rooms and how much of those funds have been earmarked for public safety purposes. So this is one of the biggest reasons why for years up until recently, the city of La Center Police Department has been very well staffed, very well funded. They've had some of the nicest, newest patrol cars throughout the entire county. Uh, the city definitely had benefited from those tax dollars in the past in helping to keep the citizens of La Center safe. Now, when it comes to schools here in La Center, I'm gonna be straight with you guys, I have mixed feelings. As a La Center alum, K through 12, you know, you wanna be proud of your school. Um, and the truth is I had did have some really fantastic teachers. Miss Brian, even though I doubt you'll ever see this video, you were fantastic. And yes, I did finally get my shit together. Uh, but there was also several teachers that did some pretty shady, underhanded stuff uh, and were more involved in the high school drama than the kids that were causing it. But that was a while ago, and the majority of the teachers that were here when I was in school have all, all since retired. Now, my mixed feelings aside, the Little Center School District has about an 83% on-time graduation rate which is comparable with school districts at size um, in, in this area. And with an overall student population of just under 2,000 students, this is a very small school district. So overall, when it comes to schools here in the center, I'd say middle of the road. Now, everything sounds good so far, right? Small town, low crime rate, you know, nice new home communities, relatively good schools, but is everything sunshine and roses in the center? Not quite. So one of the biggest complaints that I always had, and I hear a lot from people that still live here, La Center has a very limited business infrastructure. So you've got the three card rooms that are still left here in town and their restaurants and bars, which to be honest, they leave a lot to be desired. Um, you have a couple other restaurants. There's a Mexican restaurant, uh, a pizza place, which is actually owned and operated by a girl that I grew up with and went to school with. Uh, so good for her. Uh, you have a couple gas stations and that's really about it. There's not any real medical services aside from one dentist's office. Um, and there's no real means of shopping or anything like that unless you're looking for just stuff that you can get at a convenience store. Now, you do have shopping, medical facilities and stuff like that close by. The closest being up at the Ridgefield Junction. You have Ross Hours Grocery Store, 
uh, the Costco that's currently under construction. You have the Ridgefield location branch of the Vancouver Clinic for medical services. Um, and then you also have, you know, shopping and everything like that in Woodland, Battleground, Salmon Creek, all within a, anywhere from a 15 minute to 30 minute drive from the heart of the center. So you do have all of those services close by, you're just not going to find them right here in town. And while the city is finally trying to diversify its tax base by bringing in new businesses and things like that, it has taken a pretty hard financial toll in the past five years or so with the opening of the A Casino Resort. Um, you know, the pandemic did a number uh, and it really, the city lost a lot of the tax revenues that it relied on from the three remaining card rooms from both the opening of A&A &A and uh, the pandemic, which temporarily shut down those three remaining card rooms. Um, you know, the city, unfortunately, they relied so heavily on that gambling dollar for such a long time that when that started when that money started drying up it really took a hard hit right in the wallet and we saw you know the effects of that um, really specifically on the center police department which has practically been eliminated um, in fact you know the city has just entered into an agreement with the Cowlitz Indian tribe to provide police services you know so there definitely are some negatives, you know, not only about the area, but also, you know, about the city itself when it comes to living here in La Center. Now, another big complaint that kind of goes hand in hand with living in the small town, especially in this, you know, new age of technology, is you're gonna have limited internet and telecommunication services out here. Now, hold on, calm down, don't write La Center off just yet. Because if you're living here in town, you're not going to have any issues. Cell service is just fine. You're going to have all of the internet and telecom services that you need from Xfinity, CenturyLink, and the local service provider, which is TDS Telecom. It's when you start getting out into the rural areas, you know, just on the outskirts of town and then further out into the country where you're going to start running into issues. That's where um, pretty much the only phone service provider you're going to be able to find is the local service provider, TDS Telecom. Um, they'll be able to get you for phone and DSL internet. If you're like me and you need higher speed internet, you do most things online for business, things like that, you're gonna wind up needing to get satellite internet. Now there's several different providers, but from my understanding, Starlink is now available out here and it's probably one of the better uh, satellite internet services. It is a little bit on the spendier side to get that set up and get that going. And if I remember right, the, month, uh, the monthly cost of that is gonna be a bit on the higher side, but and that's kind of what you're going to be looking at for when it comes to satellite internet services. Uh, they generally all tend to cost a bit more. Now, for those of you that are loving La Center so far, I'm going to give, give you another little con, and it's a little bit of insider knowledge from somebody that's lived here for the majority of their life. So, I mentioned earlier, La Center's perched up on a hill, uh, but what I didn't tell you is that to get to La Center from the I-5 freeway, you have to go down a steep hill, back up a steep hill and then back down the hill before you cross over the river and actually come into town. Now, come winter time, when the snow starts falling, that hill going from the freeway to town is going to be one of the biggest challenge points that you're gonna face. Now, I've been stuck on that hill before because I got caught behind people that started going up, lost their nerve, and then lost all traction. So it is some, that hill is something you need to be aware of. That whether you are coming into town, more specifically if you're going out of town, because what usually happens is people going out of town will start to make their way up the hill, they'll lose their nerve, they'll slip slide a little bit, and they'll lose their nerve, foot off the gas, and then boom, them and everyone behind them is screwed. So, like I said, if you are going to live here and you're going to be here in the wintertime and you have to leave town for whatever reason when the snow's falling, you hit the gas and you hang on and you just go for it. 
All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed checking out LaCenter with me today. If you're ready to take that next step towards buying your new home in LaCenter or anywhere here in Southwest Washington, feel free to reach out anytime, call, text, email, schedule that Zoom call. You guys know how to get a hold of me and I love hearing from you, so don't be afraid to reach out. And before you take off out of here, if you would, if you haven't done it already, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Consider subscribing to the channel and tap that notification bell so you know the next time that I put out a new video. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for today. So until next time, bye everybody.